Now at six, some Omaha houses are selling fast, but others at a certain price point, not so much. Tonight, the local housing market in late July. It comes as home sales cool off a bit on both coasts. Might it happen here? And what are the trends? Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Megan Hahn. Jen is off tonight. Realtors say lower cost homes hitting the market are still going fast, but that's not the case across the board. I spoke with an expert who says our market is seeing what's called a correction or rebalancing. Uh, they do sell fast. Uh, just on this cul-de-sac alone, one, two, three houses have sold within, I would say, within a month. Carl Rosenbaugh's lived in his neighborhood near 90th and Orchard Circle for 37 years. Lately, he says he's seen many of his neighbors come and go. Two, three years ago, it, it would take a month or two before anything would sell, but this year it's just exploded. And like Rosenbaugh Street, there seemingly is a house for sale on almost every corner around the metro. But all those for sale signs aren't necessarily reflections of a hot market across the board. We've got like a 200 and below market that's really hot right now. Um, we've got houses that are coming on the market and being sold with multiple offers within a short period of time, a few days. With the 400,000 and up, what we're seeing is those are lasting a little bit longer. So those are going to sit a little bit longer because there is more options for buyers to consider. First time home buyers are more likely to search for houses at a lower price point as new construction is typically more expensive and move in ready homes usually sell faster. All of those factors play a role in which houses are going quickly, sometimes selling well above asking price. I have seen it go up 20,000, I've seen higher. But experts say current trends are showing that sales are moving to even out. We are kind of reaching what we call a correction in the market. It's not a crash, meaning the houses are gonna plummet and the market's gonna sink, but it's a correction to where everything's gonna kind of start to balance out. So we've got a really hot market, like I've said, in the under 200s, and we've kind of got a slower market up above 400. And I think everything's gonna kind of start to balance out now that we're seeing the West and East Coast markets kind of start to slow down as well. Another factor in the housing market is rising interest rates. Experts say interest rates from, went from about 4% at the start of the year to 4.75, and that means some people may not qualify for those higher mortgages. Tonight